Hey guys, welcome to Resident Evil Village. Village of Shadows? Shadows of Village? I don't know. We haven't got like much to be honest. We haven't got a lot to make. We probably soft lock ourselves because. Well, apparently I've been using too much bullets, but I really don't feel I have. So I don't know why I've got like hardly any bullets. Yeah, I've run away from most stuff. I haven't used the um, the deluxe pack survival pack thing yet at all. I went around the building trying to loot stuff. And I upgraded my my power level of my. I got an herb there. The power level of all the guns. I don't think this is going to be enough. Like, we've got free herbs, but we can't make any herbs because we need bloody chemical fluid. Well, we can make some shotgun, sh uh, handgun sh uh, bullets. Oh, crikey. I don't know. Like, I think I've been quite thorough. I don't think I used that much armo. How the fuck have I got like zero armo now? I'm so like shocked by it. Well, let's trade hits, is it? You thrust me, I thrust you. Sounds fun. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? The ancient dagger of holiness. Oh, I sense a transformation. Oh, peek a poo. I like the way you looked before. You gotta be honest. I guess you could say she's hotter now. The fuck's this, Harry Potter? <laughs> Pretty cool boss fight, though. Yeah, you're probably right. I haven't got flipping much bullets, have I? Oh, I do have sniper rifle. Maybe we got enough to finish her. Probably not, but who knows. I don't know how, how to do this. Oh, she's fast as fuck. Oh, steam train. I can't see. I can't see all this, sh like, dust shit. I can't see where you are. Oh God, I think I'll use my handgun for a bit. So when she does these, what do I do? Oh, in here, yeah? Well, we have got quite a lot of shots. Where is she? Talk to me, lady. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Where you going? Oh, I don't know what she's doing. Where's she off to? She's so tanky, isn't she? Where's she going now? Oh, oh. Oh, 
Alright, better get in here. Oh, well, this is not the best, is it? Alright, let's not stay in there just in case. Oh. Where is she going now? Right, we need to find place quick. Oh, we might be fucking dead. Where do we go? Ah, right. I don't, I don't know what's happened there. What do you do once... Once that happens. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So I've been on this about two or three hours. I've kind of learned the ropes by now. This is post-Pete, by the way, so I've already done this, and I'm speaking to you in post-production, if you like. So I'm, uh, I'm Looks in the like future. The My gameplay's in the past. So yeah, you want to crouch down, because she'll attack you if you don't. You crouch down here, try and hit her body, you won't get attacked. So I've looted the castle, guys. I've bought all the armor from the merchant. And I've uh, broke the vases outside, so I've got quite a lot of ammo. I basically tried this earlier, and I got soft locked. I hit her pretty much with every shot, and I could not do it. I didn't have enough ammo. I'm actually using a controller right now. Don't know why I just got lazy. <laughs> so when she's going around like this, you kind of just want to move back. But not too back or too forward, you. Know? you want to get a good distance on her. Make sure you're shooting her in the body, the white part. See, if you get too close, you're going to have uh, flies. If you get too far, you're probably not going to be able to hit her. You need that wing to go up so you can hit her. And you need to be pumping every single bullet into her if you do a new game. Because you're not going to have a lot of bullets at this point. So I actually really like this boss now. When I first played this on standard, I thought this was shit. But now playing it on Village of Shadows, I'm appreciating it. I'm, I'm appreciating her move set. It's almost like a Dark Souls boss. Like you're kind of addicting your moves. What's she gonna be doing next? Like no, she's doing the flies. We need to go inside here, even though it doesn't make any sense. Get away from those flies. Yeah, so I, I've i looted the whole castle, pretty much. But I, except for the dungeon bit where all the guys downstairs, I couldn't kill those guys. Alright, lady. You're gonna be dead now. Just let me give you the, the old shot, a ruse. So keep repeating this. Don't get too close. Don't get too far. You've gotta watch your dragon wings. Cause look, look how much they block. You hit them, you're not gonna do anything. I've learned that. She'll eat me, huh? I'd love to be it. But I'm just a silly man thing. Are you sure you want to eat this? I love the voice actor for this. So when she goes red like that, see the redness? She's going to make an attack. And you can hear that sound effect where she goes, <laughs> She's going in for the swoop. Get around the building, otherwise you're going to be knocked for six. Probably doing this on keyboard and mouse, my aiming would have been better, but it did all right, I think. Right, I think she's going for the, the swoop, is she? No, no, she's going for the flies. Oh, we can actually hit her from here. See, they're inside you with me, but they don't do any damage, so we're all right. Yeah, I'm really loving this uh, game. This is my favorite part of the uh, Village of Shadows playthrough. Even though it took me like three hours to get this down. Which is silly. But I didn't have enough armor, guys. I didn't have enough armor. Now I do. <laughs> Just about. Look how much pistol armor I got. I don't know if I'll be able to do the rest of this game, but I'll keep trying. Without... Uh, any unlimited armor or new game plus stuff. I'll keep trying. 
until it's impossible. Oh, they keep doing this. You know, I wish, like, I didn't use my handgun on those guys. In the upper floors, because we really need it. You can't waste any armor on this game. At all. You can't use it. Only on bosses. It kind of sucks. It's not the best difficulty in the world. Because you can't kill shit. I don't want to get you. I think the best thing to do is use your shotgun and sniper rifle quick. Get her onto the later stages. In the later stages, you mostly just do swoops like this. Oh fuck! And that was lucky, guys, because sometimes it can one shot you. She goes all the way around, but it's just a little swoop. I yeah, can imagine a lot of people having trouble with this. Not unless you really saved your armor. Because once you uh, learn her attacks, do you where she's coming from? It's not a bad fight, it's just she's tanky. And you need, you need the armor to actually kill her. And you need to be accurate enough to hit her, her white bit, her white body. Oh, she's a safer sore eye, isn't she? Well, as the dialogue changes, I think that's when she's changing her stages and she's ready to to die. I would hope it. Where's she going now? All right, she's swooping. It's harder to uh, no scope like this with a controller, but uh, I'm gonna give it a go here. Oh, it's gonna swoop again by the looks of it. Nope. No oh. Probably go for the swoop, I think. When she turns red like that, that's usually. She's gonna pull something out. She's either gonna give the flies to you or she's gonna. Charge at you. She usually makes a cattle when she's gonna charge at you. Though. Oh, bloody hell. It's so tight, you guys. You're gonna be on this for at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Oh, you can get a couple of shots here. We knocked her over. Alright, then, now then you know you're on to your next stage. Oh, the problem with this is... I skipped the cutscenes, guys, because I saw this a million times. And I kept failing on this last bit. Even though it's probably one of the easier bits. I've kept final, uh, failing on this. Now, there is a trick to it. It's all about uh, kind of timing and standing in the right position. You can kind of cheese it a little. Well, you, know, you still got to be... On the ball, though, because you mistime something and you're gonna be screwed. So, uh, yeah, you stand here kind of to the with a little bit to the right of center of her, ourselves being on the right. If the mouth does get in the way, you need, and then you go back to the corner. So, I say I do like a couple of shots, maybe two or three, then I just go back to the corner. And like after the roar, it will charge, and when, once it goes red, so just make sure you um, get out of there before that happens. Please, guys, going red, it's just charge. Go back in there, fight a couple of shots into the body, if possible, then get out of there, back into the corner, and uh, just keep doing this. And pretty simple, but <laughs> she's fucking tanky. Still, she's tanky. And my aiming's not particularly great here. The, the mouth is covering it and the wings and all that. It's probably a better angle to do it than that, but... I don't know. Yeah, she looks like she's ready to go. Charge up. 
That's kind of lucky because I think we did that a bit late. One, two. Yeah, you can get a couple of shots. Maybe three or four if you're feeling with the handgun. Maybe two with a shotgun. And get out. I just find this so awkward to aim here. Because you've got all this shit in the way. You've got the mouth, you've got the, the bloody wing. But, uh, anyway, good luck on this, guys, if you are trying this difficulty. It's, it's not easy. Just, uh, I hope you haven't used all your ammo like I always did. Yeah, yeah, we're down to the shock, and this is what we, all we have left. So we, we, we killed her with one bullet, one shotgun bullet left. But I didn't hit her every time in the body. God, what a fucking, what a relief, man. Beating there felt good. And that's kind of why I do these difficulties for just to feel the challenge. This is why we do these things for, you know, for achievements and uh, feel good uh, sensation after beating. Uh, how far I'll get in this game, who knows? Oh, look at this. Go on, You're the one who's cursed. Ooh, Ethan, go on, one-liner. <laughs> You're the one who's cursed, yeah. Kind of like uh, Ethan's cheesy one-liners. And They tried to bring in <laughs> some character. I think it worked a little bit, though. Look at this, though. Dimitrescu. Got on those curves. With a thick... I shouldn't be really looking at this, but I um, can appreciate the female form. Obviously. Anyway, we've got the second part now of Rose. And that was definitely a lot harder than the first. Oh, this is the first part. This is the first part. Oh my god, it is. Yeah, the second part is... You'll Well, you'll find out if you've not seen it but I, I expect you've already played or watched this game if you're watching shadows uh village of shadows playthrough on difficulty i wouldn't recommend watching or playing this Gross. if you've not played the game or watched it all right time all right guys it's going to be end for this video a bit of a short one i was so tired i just hanged up but i might go and do some tonight and see how far I get. But I can't kill anything. I can't kill anything. I don't think there's much in here. Only something in that drawer there. And uh, thanks to Pump Action Paul. He, he reminded me about some treasures I missed in the village. So I definitely need to go back there. And get as much stuff as possible. Because uh, it's not going to be... It's not going to be easy. I just wish I didn't waste my armor. And I don't feel like going all the way back, guys. I don't feel like it, but maybe we'll have to. But uh, that's the playthrough over then, I guess, if I can't do it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.